Hey scrappers, if you're looking to figure out what materials you should sell this week or hold this week, now is the time to do it. Our weekly report is gonna give you that information, up-to-date market news, pricing. Let's get right into it and we'll talk about it inside. Hey scrappers, Tom from the iScrap app and this is our 2024 recap on catalytic converters with a bit of a 2025 preview. Now, many of you have subscribed to our channel. If you haven't already, please make sure you do so you can be notified of our other market recaps, our market reports, and when we have new videos coming out so you can learn how to make more money with your scrap. Now, the catalytic converter markets this year have been kind of like the steel markets, really subpar. Electric vehicles continued to be pushed. We talked about that all year, right? That eliminates a lot of catalytic converters because you don't need catalytic converters for electric vehicles to curb emissions because there's no emissions. So where are catalytic converters needed? Where are platinum, palladium, and rhodium prices going to go? Well, when I look at palladium prices, for instance, this year we saw about a 23% decline. When I look at platinum prices, about even, and when I look at rhodium prices, about a 28% decline. Why are these numbers so important? Well, of course, they go into catalytic converter prices, but here you can see the palladium chart. You can see we had a couple of quick spikes. One was built around the election. One was at the beginning of the year. And other than that, you kind of see these wishy-washy, chippy, choppy type of numbers that don't really give me a lot of positivity. Now, with the new administration coming in, getting rid of some of the EV mandates, the EV tax credits, could we start to see more of a demand for catalytic converter material? Yes. I'm looking more for the demand to come from the industrial sector, from power generation, new power plants, new mini power plants, new nuclear reactors going in to create power. They could produce emissions. Carbon capture happens through some of these catalysts that contain platinum, palladium, and perhaps rhodium. Now, when I look at platinum, the demand for that is really in two industries, jewelry and auto. Well, jewelry is probably going to be you know, a smaller demand you know, worldwide compared to auto industry. And the good news is there are still a lot of countries that are just building regular gas engines because they don't have access to lithium, nickel, or other items to make these EV batteries. So we are seeing good news there, but we're not seeing worldwide growth with interest rates up with global tariffs getting ready to kick in between the Trump administration and who knows who, you know, so we're going to see oh, another average year for catalytic converters. And there hasn't been really one time in 2024 where I recommended holding your catalytic converters because we're just not seeing markets jumping and we just don't see that, that, flow or that increase coming in any under in any other sectors right now. So cars are being scrapped and the steel prices are low, the catalytic converter prices are low. And unfortunately, while we had a great run of catalytic converters in 2021 and 2022, once that kind of uh, that band stopped, right? It, it got pulled back, prices went crazy. Once they went back to kind of their normal status quo in 2022 and 23, it just kind of hasn't given us much growth when it comes to catalytic converter prices. Our prices this year from RR cats were almost average from January through December on OEM cats. And that's because these markets were, were average, if not down. So going into next year, you know, we're continuing to have, we're continuing to have growth in the auto sector. But a lot of people are holding their cars longer. Repairs are using aftermarket catalytic converters. So less platinum, less palladium, sell the bare right minimum. So if you are replacing your cat, of course, sell it through rrcats.com with free quotes, free shipping on all OEM catalytic converters. Check the team out there as well as spark plugs and O2 sensors. But but moving into you know 2025. 
These fluctuating prices have really dampened the, the markets. I don't see large growth for 25. So if you're asking me my prediction, flat, maybe down. I just don't see huge increases. And I can't even come up with an optimistic attitude because a lot of the cars are still expensive. So people are using their cars longer. Electric vehicles, whether you like them or hate them, are still continuing to make up more of the market share. So, you know, unless people have a Tesla for five years, don't like it, and they go back to an, you know a, a gas engine, I, you just don't see that transfer happening. And those are one-offs. You know, I don't know the numbers, but for every ten people that have electric vehicles, are they also getting a second electric vehicle to replace their first one? I don't know because we're still in the infancy phase of a lot of these things. So. Next year, market's going to be flatlined. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to see you continuing to post your prices. Like and subscribe to our page. And until next year, Scrappers, I'm Tom, and I'll scrap you later.